WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from three, TFNN, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, final hour of the trading day. And we got markets in negative territory. Dow negative 360 points right now, trading 24,272. S&P is negative by 39, trading at 2,900 on the dot. NASDAQ negative by 77 points, trading at 88.35. And the Russell leading the way down as it had on the way up in the last few days. Russell negative 44 points or 3.2 percent in the red trading at 1316. We'll start things off. We're going to start it off with the VIX this afternoon. The market pulling back a, a bit. The VIX reaching 3054 on Tuesday for the volatility index this afternoon, 3472 right now on the volatility index. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start things off and we're going to start it off with the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow, 24,157. Last night at midnight, you were up as high as 24,789. So about 600 points below that price level. NASDAQ 100 trending lower for most of the day. We were as high as 91.44. You're trading 200 points below that level at 89.20 right now in the NASDAQ 100. We get the two biggest of the giants this afternoon with Apple and Amazon coming out with their earnings after the bell. S&P is trading at 28.90. We were up as high as 29.64. So put things, you're, you're 75 S&P points above where we, excuse me, below where we were at midnight Eastern time. How about crude in the last hour? Crude at 215, accelerating from 1690. We're now trading at 1884 in the price of June crude. Gold contract trading at 1691 right now, falling from about 1730 early this morning. And natural gas catching a bid at 193.78. In terms of the news of the day, weekly jobless claims, 3.84 million. You add up the six weeks, we're at 30. 0.3 million for weekly jobless claims. Quite a number. After the bell tonight, as we said, Amazon and Microsoft, both of those companies trading positive in a negative market. You have Amazon shares up 2.1% right now at 14.24, and you have Apple shares up 1.2% at 2.91. And if you jump over to that Analyze tab, Apple looking for an $11.28 expected move for implied volatility. Amazon, how about a $128 move for implied volatility? Stay tuned, folks. Tom's doing his webinar right now for timing the trade. So Steve Rhodes filling in for the hour live from 3 till 4. We'll be right back.